Hello friends, welcome to SQL Practical Question Series. So here are two interesting questions I have received from subscribers. The first question is, so the input is a string which contains a comma separated list of numbers. So the expectation is, we need to write a SQL to print the numbers in the as either ascending order or in the descending order. So it should be again comma separated. So the expectation is we need to return a string of numbers in a comma separated format in either ascending order or in a descending order. So the second question is very similar to the first question. So the expectation is we need to write a query to order the characters of the string. That means so the given string has to be ordered either in the ascending order of the character or in the descending order. For example, if the given string is an input string is welcome, then we need to return the characters within the string sorted either in ascending order or in a descending order. Fine. Uh, let me first show you whatever what logic I am just going to follow so that it is easy for you to understand while writing the SQL. So as I told the expectation is we need to sort the numbers in a comma separated string. So here is an input string. So what I am going to do I am just going to uh, convert the comma separated information into a row wise format so that it is easy for me to sort it here. So after sorting here I am just going to again uh, convert it back to comma separated format using list tag function. Very similar to this even in the for the second question what I am going to do I am just going to convert the given input string into a row wise format so that it is easy for us to sort it here. So after sorting I am just going to aggregate it back to a string uh, as shown here. Okay so before starting with the demo let me first show you or let me first tell you how I am going to convert a comma separated string into a row of values. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use regular expression underscore substring function. So this function uh, first let me show you a simple example to understand this function. So this function will take four argument. The first argument is the string in which we are going to search for a pattern. Okay so in this case it is our input string. So the second argument is the pattern that means this is a regular expression pattern. In fact, uh, the regular expression pattern itself is a quite uh, um, a large area. Probably I will cover a regular expression in separate video. I will just show you what expression I'm going to use so that it's easy for us to understand this particular example. So the second parameter is the pattern which will tell what pattern we are going to search in the string. For example, in this case, uh, we are going to search for the string till a comma, uh, till a comma in the string. The third uh, input is a position from which position we are going to start the search from and the fourth parameter is the occurrence which occurrence of the, of the string we want. Let us understand this with a simple example first. For example here is a input string called a comma bb comma ccc comma dddd. Suppose if I want to extract the first pattern that is a so what I will do so this is the uh, regular expression pattern to extract the string. So we extract the string till the occurrence of a comma. And the third parameter says that we are going to start the search from first character. And the fourth character says that we want the first occurrence. So in this case we want the A. So this query will return A. Suppose if we want the second occurrence of, occurrence of pattern, then I'll pass 2 as an input for the fourth argument. So in this case it will extract and return the BB. Similarly, if you want to extract the third occurrence of the pattern, then we can pass the fourth argument as 3 so that we will get CCC as an output. Very similarly, if you want the fourth occurrence, you can pass it 4 and you will get the DD as the output. So this is the logic. I am just going to use it on the input string to convert the comma separated uh, data into a row wise format. Fine. Let me first, let me now show you how to um, write this query. Now I hope it would be very easy for you to follow the query. Okay, so here is the uh, string which contains the list of numbers separated by comma. So let me uh, make it as a with clause here. So let me say with t as the select statement select star from t. Fine. Let me put t here. Now what I want is it's not t, it's d. So let me um, first replicate the number of rows. So 
what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use connect by level less than or equal to, suppose if I put five, this will replicate the rows for five times. So what I need here is that instead of five, I need to replicate as per the number of uh, values in that string. So how I'm going to compute that number of values is basically I can count the number of commas in that string. Suppose if there are like uh, a 10 string, ideally we would have nine commas in that string. So what I will do, I will count the number of comma, I'll put plus one so that that number of commas is equal to the number of uh, numeric values in that particular string. So for that, I'm just going to use regular expression count the comma. I'm just going to search count the number of comma and I'll just put plus one so that this will replicate the string into number of numerical value present in that string. So in this case, we have like 11 numerical values present in that string. So that's why it is replicated into 11 rows. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to extract each and every value. So for that, I'm just going to use the pattern, whatever I have showed you. So regular expression, substring, the first, the input string, then I'm going to pass the regular expression pattern. So I'm just going to search for comma. So start from the first character. Suppose if I put one, it will just extract the first character in this string. So if I give two here, it will extract the uh, second occurrence of the pattern. Similarly, three will extract the third occurrence of pattern. So in my case, I need uh, each and every value has to be extracted in each and every row. So for that, what we can do, we can either use the level or otherwise we can use row name. So instead of the hot coded three, you can either use level, otherwise you can use row name. Anything should be fine. Now, if you see the second column is actually the extracted value from the string. We actually extracted each and every numerical value in a row wise format. So anyway, we are not interested in level and row name. So let me just remove that. Same way we are not in, we are just interested in only the second column here. So let me remove the first column also. Fine. Now we just got the um, list of numbers. So we just converted a comma separated string into a row of numbers. Let me just give an alias as yes. Fine. So now we just got the list. Now it is very easy for us to sort it. So for that, what I am going to do, select. First, let me make it as an inner query. Select star from here. So let me select yes. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use list aggregation of yes. So we need a comma separated value. So I'll put comma. So within the group, within group. So this is the syntax of list aggregation. I'll say order by yes. Now, if you see, it is actually ordering the, that is, it is actually aggregating the rows into a string. But uh, one interesting behavior is that you can see here, after one, we are not getting three. Instead, after one, we are getting 10 followed by 100. The reason is from the string, we extracted some characters which will still be considered as a string. That is why the ordering is happening as a character value. It is not ordering as a numerical value. Instead, it is ordering a, as a character value. So for that, what we need to do, while we say order by yes, convert that character into a number, then do, a, do an order by. So let me just copy the same thing so that it is easy for us to see the behavior side by side. I just copied the same uh, list aggregation again. That's why you are saying here uh, two times here as a two column. So in the second column, let me put two underscore number. This is just for us to get the difference between the first column and second column. Now, if you see there is a difference between the first column and the output of the second column, because in the first column, the ordering is happening as a character. The rows are con considered as a character value and it is ordering as a character value. Whereas in the second column, if you see, we are converting the character into a number using two number function here. Then we are aggregating. That's why the character is converted into a number and then it is aggregating. That is why it's, it's just aggregating in a proper numerical order. Fine. So this is the expected result. Anyway, like we are not interested in the first column. I just showed you this for a better understanding only. Fine. Now let me just execute this. Now we just got the expected output that is the input list of numbers that is a comma separated number of string is converted or uh, we printed in a ordered numerical uh, in an ordered uh, number format. Fine. 
suppose instead of a comma separated string if it is like a separated by some space characters uh, then also you can follow a similar uh, pattern for example here is a, another example instead of comma i just put a space here so what i'm doing here instead of space i'm i'm just replacing all the spaces with comma and i'm just reusing the same functionality if you see here instead of comma or instead of space i just replace with comma then i'm just following the similar functionality so when you are getting similar uh, questions you can you can use this regular expression along with list aggregation to convert it as per your need fine now let us see how to write the query for our second question that is sorting the character so this is much simpler than that so as i'm very similar to that i am using a with class here with t as the select statement let me give um, alias as d here select d from t so what i need is i need to replicate this for the number of characters so i'll say length of d so that this will just get replicated so in this case since we have like seven characters it is replicated as seven row now what i'm going to do i'm just going to extract the substring of d comma level first let me put it here now what will happen is that if you see from the uh, as you, you can see what is the value of, of level also so from the uh, level position it will start extracting anyway we are not interested in printing this pyramid structure i just want to print only one character so let me just put it one here so that it will print like we are converting the string into a row wise format anyway we are not interested in printing the string whole string so i will remove the first column i am not interested in printing level also so let me remove it so let me give an alias yes now let us make this as an inner query select yes from so let me make this as inner query yeah now very similar to that we can use list aggregation of yes with then group we can say order by yes so it's an ascending order so it will just give it in a ascending order otherwise you can just put in a descending order okay whatever whatever it may be so this is the expected output for our second question so here is the query for our first question so the key learning here is that to convert the uh, comma separated string into a row of string i'm using connect by and the regular expression substring so this portion so this portion will try to uh, uh, help us to achieve the first part of the functionality after that the list aggregation and the order by class so this portion will help us to achieve the second part of the expected output that is from a sorted value back to a comma separated list of string so very similar to that uh, i have used the uh, space as a delimiter here delimiter here so what i did is that uh, the space i have actually replaced with comma and then i am i'm following a very similar functionality okay so the third question is uh, uh, sorting the character within the string so very similar to the previous example i am using the connect by and substring portion to achieve the first portion of the functionality that is converting a string into a multiple row of characters then the list aggregation with and the order i am using it to achieve the second portion of the functionality that is from row back to the ordered character string the uh, all these queries i have posted in this blog link and the blog link is given in the description you can just copy the query and you can execute by yourself so that you will understand much better if you have learned something new please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video interview question sql practical question and concept videos if you want any questions to be answered you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id and thanks a lot for watching this video